Hi, yeah. A few people have asked to see like the inside of my van and where everything goes and how I fit three weeks worth of stuff into one little space. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to show you today. Okay, so this is George. He's a blue Toyota Hiace and he was built in 1992 and he's quite small. Um, this is like the back area obviously okay so we're in the back um you can't really see it very well but this is one of the benches so there's two on either side um, and basically there's storage underneath both of them so yeah there's those two like there's like a big pillow and a little like pillow and they come down to make the bed so at the moment it's in like the seats and the table um yeah so there's like oh, so there's like they're quite deep obviously the wheels are in the way and stuff so on this side i have stuff like the van so there's um like engine stuff down there i don't really know um and then yeah this is like outdoorsy stuff for me and then on that side i've got um, my bedding and um, clothes. Okay, so this table comes down, so there's like two identical slats, and they slot in here, there, and there, and the pole just like goes on the floor. And then these big ones will come across, and these little ones go into the side, and then there's your bed, the whole thing. <laughs> This toilet I haven't used yet, it's like a porta potty, um, but there's loads of toilets in New Zealand so fingers crossed I'm not going to use it. <laughs> um, this curtain obviously covers the back one here, but there's only two, so the, there isn't one for the door window and there's none for that window either, so I don't know, I don't really know how I feel about that. If I say somewhere that's like got loads of people at, I don't think I'll be that comfortable with it, but anyway. This is the only window that has mesh on it, so like you can, I just leave it open quite a lot, but you can obviously like shut it. That's as far as it opens, but it's an absolute lifesaver because it gets quite hot sometimes. Okay, um, the cab is pretty normal. There's like everything normal in here. The only thing that I keep in here that you probably wouldn't um, is my clothes because you saw how difficult it was to take the, um, like the bench up and things so I like to just keep my clothes here especially because it's only me in here anyway so I don't use that space so may as well but yeah nothing like weird about the cab <laughs> oh there is um a hole in this wall here though that separates like the main van back so that's pretty clever because then I can like grab things if I need them okay so this is the kitchen area so I've got like a little shelf up there that I am currently making use of but I don't really put anything up there that might break because sometimes it falls down. Like at the moment all I've got is like this like piece of wire that I've just, I don't really know how to show you. Okay, it's like DIY at its finest. So basically it was literally just a piece of wire that's going down that way and that way and it's like hooked around these hooks. And then it was like, I needed to have it stay up. So I kind of need to like push that back. That's like an old um, tub, like vitamins box and um, or tub or whatever. And I've just like tied it around there so then it will, but it doesn't really work very well. It doesn't hold them up there, but whatever, it's fine. So yeah, and then you've got the sink and there's water under here. So there's um, clean and dirty and it like you just pull the pump up on here and the water comes out which is pretty cool um and then there's this shelf which is way more useful than the top one because actually stuff stays in here so yeah i've just got like all my like food and stuff is like a lot of it's there um this is the hob which i haven't actually used yet oh that's something i didn't show you in the driver's cab so behind the driver's seat is like a little gas bottle and it has like a little tiny one. Um, in here there's all like my pots and pans and dishes and stuff so that like this will come out but it's kind of like effort to take it out so I'm not going to. 
and then there's like some more storage here so I just keep my, my books and stuff here my bikini's drying it drying <laughs> um this is like i don't really know what this is actually supposed to be for but i just use it for like more storage for food um yeah i don't know why those are there and then under here is my fridge let me just pull it up and then there's all like my fridge stuff in there but at the moment i don't think um my fridge is actually working which is amazing but seeing as there's no meat or dairy in there it doesn't really matter that much anyway and then there's this charger like charging port which is really cool oh and this oh that's like the bin and things so this comes up as well so this is like you can have it down if you want more space like in the doorway <clears throat> or you can bring it up and there's like more cutting space and i like hang my towels to dry on there as well and then i've been using this for like generic storage so it's got my hammock there and like trainers and things bit messy but oh well um yeah i think that's it the only other thing oh yeah it has lights which is really cool so they're like really bright in the dark as well um i think that's it so yeah i'm on um waiheke island at the moment and i am going to head up further north tomorrow yeah i've got the ferry book tomorrow so i'm very excited so Stay tuned if you want to see what happens there. <laughs>